You're completely offline, aren't you? No? No, there's a slight glimmer, glimmer there. Don't you worry, my little android. I'm going to fix you. What did they do to you, my little friend? Oh, you are in absolute disarray. Don't worry. I am here to help. All right. First, I'm going to affix an external power source. I know that normally you are able to power yourself internally, but it looks like your main battery has been cracked. Now, I want you to remain calm. I'm going to reach inside going to pull out your battery core. Please be calm. Good. We were able to keep it from exploding and killing us all. Now that external pack will work for you for a little while, but if we don't get you a new one soon, there will be no hope. So I'm going to see what I can do. I think that you could do great things. And I think that you could be great things. So I'm going to begin the process of repairing you. First off, going to reach in and I'm going to access your memories. You see, you are an android. And you are special. There are many robots in this world, but I don't think I've ever encountered one quite like you. I think that with a little work, you could be truly exceptional. What I'm going to do is I'm going to cosmetically give you the appearance of a human. Human face, human eyes, but, um, still leave some of your robotic ancestry visible to all. What I think will be most useful both in your repair and in your future life is I'm going to try and make you metamorphic. You see, I think what happened is you were damaged your body was not able to repair itself. If I am able to successfully make you a metamorphic android, then what will happen is you will actually be able to repair yourself simply from the power cells from any foe that you defeat. That would be most have been most useful earlier, would it have not? All right, please hold still. I'm placing the new battery in your chest at this time. There. All right, disconnecting the external battery. I'm sure you don't like being tethered. Now, I can repair you. I can make you more than you ever were. But I need your help. I need your help quite desperately. You see, I create many robots and androids, and I do so for the help and betterment of mankind and for the good of the robots that I create. But there is another who is creating robots of destruction, who is creating robots that kill and take lives and enslave other robots to do the bidding. Would you help me? Would you help me stop these robots? You know, I thought you might say that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin adjusting your morphic properties. This will not only allow you to repair yourself, the energy that you absorb, but theoretically, 
once you have stopped a rampaging robot, you should be able to graft its abilities onto yourself. That's right. Imagine there's a creature with a devastating energy blast and you are able to subdue it. And then afterwards, you would be able to graft that devastating energy blast onto yourself and use it to help others. But I think, I think we need to start small. Let's start with your right hand going to leave it a hand, but I'm going to make some adjustments here. Perfect. Now, what this is going to do is work with your metamorphic chip, and it's going to be able to form your hand into a hand cannon. This will allow you to fire an energy blast. It will be your first and primary line of defense and offense. It will be extremely useful. But that hand cannon, let me make a few adjustments here, will also be able to metamorphosize and adapt to the weapons that you are gaining. Now, you will find that the enemies are highly varied in their capabilities. Some of them have taken elements from nature, wind, wood, some of them cutting with blades, some of them with blasts of water. Here is the key. We are going to need to discover each of them is going to have a special weakness. I know this because I once was a partner of the man who is now causing this chaos. And he was paranoid. He was very, very paranoid. And so no matter what creature he made, he always put an element of weakness in it. And that way, if any of them betrayed him, he would always have a way to defeat them. So what we will do is you, you will go and take on the first. It will be hard because you won't have any special abilities. But once you do, once you do, you will then have that robot's ability and you will be able to use it to defeat the next and then the next and then the next and so on until finally you can confront my old nemesis, Dr. Wiley. I should never have trusted him with so much of my technology or my help, but I really thought he wanted to make the world a better place. I really thought he wanted to help. Let me make the final adjustments to you. You are doing very, very well. We're going to need a name for you. We're going to need to call you something. What should we call you? Superior man? No, it doesn't quite work, does it? Um, mini man, because of the mini power. No, that is very dumb, isn't it? Mega man. Mega man. I like it. It's got a great sound to it. You will be mega man. Here is your helmet. This will allow you to stay in contact with me and should help you direct your metamorphic capabilities so that with the instant of a thought, you will be able to transform your hand into your hand cannon and also to switch it to the different abilities and you will be able to save the city. I'm very proud of you for what you've come through and what you've done and what you will do. Think of me as your father. Think of me as the one who will always be there for you. You can call me Dr. Light. Do you have the leaf powers yet? Look, leaves, leaves.
leaves, oh no leaves. <laughs> if you've enjoying these role plays, please subscribe to Roleplay Riot or, or you can watch another one of my videos. And remember to use your mini robot powers for good and not for evil.